Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be sharing with you five tips on improving your curb appeal. We all seek to have the best looking house in the neighborhood, at least I do. And there are things that you can do, little things, they don't have to be big grand gestures that can improve and enhance your curb appeal. So today, let's look at those. Tip number one is the overall appearance of your lawn. I am using my house in all of these tips today just because I know my lawn and I'm not going to be picking on anybody else. I'll be picking on myself. So the first is the overall appearance of your lawn. Do you have a neat mowing pattern? Do you keep your grass cut nicely? Do you edge the sidewalks nicely? These are very important aspects of looking at curb appeal. Having your grass mowed continuously once a week in the growing season, sometimes twice a week, making sure that your edges are crisp, your um, areas are weeded, string trimmed around the hard areas like um, mailboxes or light poles or anything like that. You want to make sure you don't have any areas with high sprigs. Okay, so that's tip number one, the overall uniformity and nice, neat appearance of your lawn. Doesn't have to be weed free, doesn't have to be perfectly even and green. Ours is right now only because it is springtime and the lawn is coming to life. So right now it looks really good. However, we make sure that we always have a crisp edge along the sidewalk. My husband, achieves this using a weed eater or string trimmer and it always looks nice even if the grass doesn't look nice having nice crisp edges makes that appearance of it looking nice tip number two this is a big big area of improvement i left this so that i could show for the reason of this video you want to make sure that your tree rings your mulch rings are weed free along with keeping your tree rings weed free you also want to make sure your plant beds are kept weed free and that goes along with my sidewalk here i have crack weeds along the edges i have a weed in my plant bed that coming over here i have weeds just a few but along the edges that also will increase your curb appeal if you remove the weeds small detail but it does enhance a lot so this goes along with tip number two. You don't want to have suckers on your trees. This gives the appearance of an unkept lawn, unkept landscape. Okay, so I have three tree rings across the front and this needs to be taken care of. So I'm going to take care of that and show you the difference. All right, this is the before. And this is the after. These are all of the weeds. There were so many little tiny ones. And um, I wanted to show you something. These are called suckers. And they are areas of the tree that um, they just start sending out branches. These have no place here. So I'm going to just pop them off. All right, if you wanted your branches to go all the way to the ground, there would be no problem with having the suckers on the bottom. But because I want my tree elevated higher, anything below the point of where I have my branches, I have to keep neat and tidy. That just takes away from the tree, the look of the tree. So those are called suckers and you want to remove those. Same here. These are little areas that would become branches all throughout the inside of the tree that I am just going to come in here and I'm going to pop them off just like that. It just cleans up the look of the tree a lot. I will go in here and do this um, at great length just like that. As you can see it already makes it look better. So Here's the after of neat and tidy for your plant beds. Tip number three is keeping your shrubs pruned. When you look at a home, you don't want to have shrubs that are over the windows like these. 
You want to have nice open spaces under your windows. You really want to plant the right plant, which in prior videos I've talked about how these are the wrong plants. However, I'm not taking them out. Um, so over here, it looks a little more manageable. It looks neat, although the roses could use a pruning. The um, hydrangeas are coming to life, and so they're going to get really big and crazy with blooms everywhere, but that's okay. It gives a nice uniform appearance. Over here, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look neat. The Laura Pedlum and the Cleara, there are two rows of plants here. I could take those down quite a bit, which we will do, but right now we have baby uh, mama birds and their babies nesting in here, so that's not an option for right now. So we will be taking this down and that would provide instant curb appeal that would make it look nice, neat, and manicured. So that's tip number three. Tip number four is adding a fresh coat of mulch. If you have a nice coat of mulch, it does add the look of care to your landscape. It needs to be freshened up yearly so that it looks nice and neat and even. As you can see, mine is old and it's uneven. And to me, it doesn't look nice. Maybe to you, it looks fine. And from the road, you really can't see it, but I see it, so I know. Um, if you were to look at this and it had a nice fresh coat of mulch on it, it would change this appearance. Again, over here, you can see that this needs a nice fresh coat of mulch. It has these big, huge pine bark nuggets that are too big. I don't like them, just my preference. And here is a perfect area to show you where we need mulch. As you can see, there's weeds in this tree ring. That's a no-no. Uh, and this needs a new fresh coat of mulch. So tip number four is adding a new fresh coat of mulch. Tip number five is a welcoming front entrance, a welcoming front porch. This can be done very simply and very inexpensively by just simply adding a wreath and a doormat. As you can see, I don't have either. So my front porch, although I did add two planters last week, they are very small. They are going to grow and fill in the space, but until then, I could be adding a welcome appearance by having a nice doormat and a nice wreath on the front door. I will be doing that probably <laughs> this week, but adding color, even if it's just green, you can pop, get, get some planters that are tall and you can put a fern on either side of the front door. You can add, like I said, a welcome mat, anything to add a welcome vibe to your front porch. That enhances your curb appeal greatly. That is the focal point of the front of the house. Typically, that is as you're driving by, that's where everybody's eye goes is to the front door. And so you want to provide that welcoming feel to your front porch. As you can see, it's not hard to create that curb appeal. Five simple steps, making sure that your lawn is cut, having the edges crisp, even if your lawn doesn't look nice, that enhances that curb appeal. Making sure that you don't have weeds in your plant beds, in your tree rings, along your curbs, those are huge. Making sure that your plants are nice and pruned and neat and tidy. Making sure that you add fresh mulch yearly. You don't have to do it all the time, but it does make a layer of of depth and, and it enhances the property, the look, the feel, and creating a nice welcoming entrance. These are all perfect ways to add enhanced curb appeal to your front and or to, to your home in general. They are very inexpensive, very easy. Anyone can do them and it doesn't take a lot of time. It, as you keep up with it, you know, it, it just becomes sort of that routine. So I hope this has been helpful for you to see there are ways that you can enhance your curb appeal and you don't have to spend a lot of money. A lot of times it's just getting out and getting it done. And so I would love to hear from you. Do you like these tips? What do you do to make sure your curb appeal is on point? I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in another video. Please consider subscribing and I will see you again in another video soon. Take care, everybody.